Hello guys and welcome to my channel and today we are playing Clicker Heroes now as you can see it's a bit different uh, it's not just a small line in the middle of the screen anymore uh, which is great and the reason for that is because I've started playing this well I've started playing this game on Steam the reason being is because on my phone uh, it's only a small like like window and it just does not look very well so I decided to play this game on Steam and there's a couple of uh, differences between the mobile version and the Steam version that I'm going to go through today and I'm also going to talk about the relics as well um, and I'm also going to talk about a um, like when you should up upgrade these as well the ancients so we're going to go into that as well. So the noticeable differences between the mobile game and the Steam game is the layout as you can see. All your stuff is right at the top. I swear when I get to like level 300 it's going to, the transcend button is going to be there because uh, there's a spot there. But everything's all in a line right here. <coughs> And then we got the uh, stuff here as well, um, so yay, that's that's great. Uh, another notable difference is that the achievements do not give. <coughs> sorry, the achievements do not give rubies, which is annoying as hell. So on the mobile version, you get uh, rubies for completing the achievements. And you also get rubies for uh, watching ads and stuff, which you can't do on here. <clears throat> there are a couple of ways you can actually get rubies, which is the mercenaries right here to send them off on a quest if one uh, comes up. And then we've got the um, click on that little fish thing that sometimes pops up, and hope and hope to uh, and hope to the heavens that you actually do get one. Uh, I, I've clicked on like five, uh, one after the other sort of thing, and I've got no rubies for those five, but sometimes you do get a ruby, and as you can see, I have 55 at the moment. So, a load of people actually say that you should buy the two times multiplier to all your damage forever uh, when you actually get into this game, and the problem is with that is it's going to help you in the beginning of the game. But further on into the later games, it's not going to be worth much anyway. And the reason why I want it, the one thing that I'd go for is the auto clicker. And just so that you guys know, the difference between the mobile version and the Steam version is the mobile version cost 1,000 rub uh, rubies to actually buy. On the PC version, it only costs 100 mainly because the rubies are kind of hard to get on the um, Steam version. The reason why I buy that uh, as soon as I possibly can is because uh, if I, I've i currently got this Ancient on Abandon which uh, gives me a DPS. I don't really like doing that because it's, you know, I can only keep to one DPS at a time. Whereas if I have that and I've got the auto click out, it will keep clicking, especially if I'm on the uh, the PC version I'll just leave it running for about an hour and I'll get more than I probably get more than a hundred percent I think I'll only I need about 10,000 combo clicks in order to get a hundred percent which I can easily do that by keeping this uh, window open and it will surpass this multiplier uh, by a lot so that's the reason why I suggest actually getting the auto clicker rather than that. I know it's better in the uh, beginning of the game, but it's better to just grind in the beginning of the game because that's going to be completely useless. And this one, the uh, by quick ascension, that's better in the later games. But you know, so I'm just focusing on getting all the auto clickers at the moment. I think you can get about ten uh, for that. So there is a and we're going to talk about these relics as well. So these relics do different things. And if we see on, click on the Gladiator Guard of Enhancement, I can level them up uh, depending on what I want to actually do. 
actually do. Uh, this resends when you actually. Uh, this resets when you transcend. Uh, you do not keep your relics or anything. So, and I've got no forge cores, so I can't update or upgrade. Uh, which kind of sucks. So let's say, for example, I've got four um, relics here, and I get stuff in my junk pile. Um, I can see which build I have, whether it's DPS, whether it's gold, um, or whatever, and I can put in my relics as I want in there, depending on the uh, on the um, ancients that I have. Now, a lot of people ask. When do you actually get a relic or some stuff like that? And the the way you can get that uh, the relics is if I go onto this tab, the stats, I go all the way to the bottom. As you can see, my highest zone ever is 150. So what I'll do is I'll take the highest zone ever, and within level 100 to 33 percent of 150. So if, let's say, for example, that that number was 200 to make it easier so from one level 100 to 133 I will get a relic uh, I will get a relic uh, for that so it's between 33% of your when you first actually get to level 100 to your highest zone and that's when you do get a relic uh, okay, so my ancients here, I don't like using 50% DPS as I says, uh, it's not going to do much for me, my DPS just stays the same whether, you know, if I should have just bought Juggernaut, which I'm probably going to buy him uh, when I uh, ascend again, uh, but currently I've got these Grant the General, so I'm going to press on that, get that to level 10, and 12, so yeah. And I've got some of these to 100 as well. <clears throat> Another thing what you're going to want to do is you want to get as many hero souls as you possibly can. So again, try and get to level 140. Uh, and then also try and, when you're in the beginning of the game, try and get like uh, 14,000 total hero souls, or sorry, total hero levels uh, on the game that you're actually doing. That will give you at least seven hero souls just for that, which is 70% DPS, which means when you go into the next game, it should be easier for you to progress. So a lot of people also ask when to ascend. Now, when you want to ascend is when you're struggling, pretty much. So if I get to level 150, there's no point in me grinding at 150 um, uh, unless I get to 149. And I can't defeat level 150, but I know that at 150 I'm going to get some hero souls for that. Then I'm going to grind until I get that 150, and then I'll descend. But if you get to like uh, level 149, and you go on to uh, 150, and you, you're struggling to do it, there's no point in just carrying on, there's just ascend there and then. Make sure you got the most possible... Um, most possible heroes that you can because uh, the hero souls are pretty much the bread and butter of this um, this game I'm also going to show you guys another trick as well especially with the ancients there's a rule of thumb here and it's a bit difficult to actually uh, grasp so I'm going to try and explain this as easily as I possibly can so currently I have 26 hero souls now, let's say, for example, I want to upgrade my Ancient of Abandon. I'm not going to uh, upgrade it to use all my hero souls, because that's going to uh, screw me over so, so much. So, there's a rule of thumb that a load of people actually use, and that's, we get this number here, so three. So, it's going to cost me three uh, hero souls in order to upgrade that to level three. So, let's grab that number here, three. What you're going to do is you're going to grab that number and you're going to add 1. So uh, 3 plus 1 is 4. And then you're going to times that number by itself. So 4 times 4 is going to be 16. As long as I've got 16 hero souls, I will be fine. So for example, if I have 16 hero souls and I wanted to upgrade that, I wouldn't. 
I'd wait till I get 20 because I don't want to go under 16. It's going to be uh, worse for me to do that. So, for example, if this number was 5, what I'd do is I'd add 1. So it'd be 6, and then I'd times 6 by itself, which is 36. And I wouldn't go under 36 hero souls if I was to upgrade that. Um, so I'd need 41. Uh, that would be 5, I'd click on that, which gives me 36 um, hero souls, and that will help me uh, progress instead of uh, penalising, because you, you, you're spending at least 10% of your DPS anyway. So if I was to spend um, 2 DPS on getting that currently, then my DPS here would go down, uh, would go down, uh, which means like, you know, it, it wouldn't be beneficial to me to do. Uh, so if you do ascend, uh, buy all your upgrades as as you want, but keep that uh, uh, rule, keep that rule in your mind. That'll help you a lot. So currently I'm just on this, trying to get like uh, frost leaf. I know that I can't really go past 100 frost leaf and then I'll probably buy 100 of these as well.